Happy New Year, my friend. Uh, it's early 2024 whenever we post this, but this is not a New Year, New Me video. This is actually a, it's a New Year, stop being the old you video. Now, I'm gonna give you 10 things plus one as a bonus, and they're written right here in my little notion, but I wanna say one thing as a 10 second warning. 2024, I promised myself I was gonna be more myself. That means more sarcasm, more getting to the point, less coddling, less hugs after every sentence, getting to the point of saying, I wanna help you, Stop, stop, stop complaining. Let's go. It all comes from love. So here's a little bunch of little hearts for you on screen. But let's get started, okay? So the first thing that I would do is I would stop worrying about posting as much, but instead go to a different tab on Instagram and start worrying and focusing more on your locations. I'm gonna go into IG, I'm gonna type in Pasadena wedding. Pasadena's got the good old money. That old money is like that rich, sugar mama, sugar daddy kind of money. It's there. And so we're going to find, so you're going to get like a explore page. Now I'm going to look and I'm going to find, for example, this one. Oh, look, beautiful palm trees, house Southern California. And then I'm going to look and see that they tagged Maxwell house. I don't know what Maxwell house is, but let's just say I have a hybrid photo and video business. I'm going to click Maxwell house. Oh, wow, I see the location. It's right there in Pasadena. And I can do top or I can do recent. There's two tabs there, top and recent. I would go with recent because top could have, I don't know, 10,000 likes and all of a sudden like, it's like 500 comments and your comment is just gonna go like poof in the air, nobody cares. So if we go to the recent ones, people are thirsty. Go, oh, did I get a bunch of likes? Did I get any views? Did I get any comments? And then so when you go into the most recent and you comment something very kind, not a fire emoji, we're not doing that in 2024. And you say, this is so beautiful. Uh, and, then I, and then you say, I checked out your food and some of the other images. You guys are like good. I, I need to connect with you. Simple, a few of those comments, follow them, they'll very, very likely follow you back. Now, this is how it's gonna help you, whether you do photo or video for weddings. Actually, any any type of photography, okay, depends on your location. You ever seen somebody like go on a dating app and then they're like, the whole world is a possibility. Well, you're not in the whole world, you're like within a certain radius, okay? So why don't you look for people within that radius? So there's something that happens like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I just went viral, I just went viral with this really cool cap cut, stupid template. Okay, who cares? You know, like if you think about it, let me just show you one of my things. I guess it's considered viral. Like one of my things, 1.4 million views, the next one, is like 700 and something thousand, the other is like 400,000. Not a single job came of that, nobody cares, nothing moved, like the needle just did not move at all. What you wanna do is you wanna connect with local people, not global people. It's the local people, like that's why I said something about that dating app. You kinda of wanna find romance in your town, ideally, that's gonna to lead to a slightly happier, less difficult life. Keep that in mind, worry less about posting, uh, worry more or focus more on locations. Number two is I would not listen to any dumb people. Actually, they're not dumb. They're very, very smart in doing this. I would not listen to anybody that tells you, don't niche down, that's antiquated. No, that's stupid. You want to niche down. Because unless you have the resources of a Gary V, Gary V tells you a lot of advice. I like him, I respect him largely for what he's built, but he forgets very conveniently and let you know that he has a full staff of videographers on payroll and health care and everything. And he's got a full staff of marketing people and graphics people and caption writer. And he's got editors everywhere he goes. So it's easy for Gary to do his like jab, jab, hook, you know, format. You and I are different. There's also people that just regurgitate stuff from other channels. We've all seen these YouTube channels. All they do is they're like, well, I'm just gonna go towards the new trend of saying don't niche down. No, do niche down. Yes, you want to niche down. Don't listen to people that have no track record. Get used to Googling people and seeing if you should even be listening to their advice. The reason why you wanna niche down is because that's what gets you the high dollar amount. That's what makes you the expert in something. When people say don't niche down, they're also saying, yeah, like it works for a Walmart, but the Walton family isn't exactly paying their fair share of taxes and they have like a trillion dollars and they have like thousands of Walmarts and then millions or hundreds of thousands of employees. You cannot do that. I cannot do that. You're one, you're an artist. So you want to niche down. 
people want to pay money. People want to pay a lot of money for things that's going to make them look like a star. Before a bigger photo channel takes my term, it's called photography roulette. Imagine you have a style that's like super, super eight, like rough cuts, everything. Then another video is super music video-y. Then another video is super documentary. Then another one is like this wilderness, flower field, ethereal. Then there's like five other types of videos or photos. You know what that makes me do as a potential client? I don't sit there and think, wow, you have so many different styles. I might for a second. And that's really cool, but for other people. For me, for my wedding, for my family, for my business, for my restaurant, I want someone who is the master of what they do. I'm hiring a motion graphics designer right now for Unreal Engine. There's a lot of great people. The one that I'm looking at has consistently done work in one industry that my client is in. They want to know that you're a sure thing. When you're a sure thing, that means they look like a hero. All right, let's go to the next one. Super contradictory, by the way. I want you to shoot all different kinds of styles. What the hell? There's a difference between shooting all different kinds of styles and then presenting that to your audience. Keep it to yourself. As an artist, you need to create. You, it's just like a hunger that you have to do. As a business, you have to present things in an orderly fashion. They cannot be the same. As an artist, you should always be hungry. If let's just say you do wedding photography, your, your friend's like, hey, I'm doing a music video. Would you do some BTS of my music video? Do it, do it. Just you don't want to confuse the audience, the paying audience in your local market. See, I'm trying to combine different numbers. Hope that makes sense but you have to grow as an artist present in an orderly beautiful refined finicky edited edited like crazy fashion this is how you get the most amount of money all right uh number four is something that i learned this year just travel three times a year please i went to italy i went to um Mexico. Um, I'll probably do another little quick trip this year too, or, you know, within like a 12 month period, I never really traveled. I was just like, I must take care of my family. I must take care of my business. I must take care of my clients. And then you end up becoming a servant to all of them and you end up losing in the process of it all. But I got to see life a different way. I got to see people move at a different speed. I even got to see light come from a different angle just by being, just by sheer chance of being in a different part of this earth. You get to see things differently. You get to experience the culture, the music, even the air is different. When you travel, it's going to help you become a more successful entrepreneur. Now, let me tell you something. Ask your accountant, don't blame it on me. You didn't hear it from me for legal reasons, but there is a very good chance that you could deduct all or a portion of this trip. Speak to a tax professional, especially if you're going out there and you're gonna go take some pictures. Speak to an accountant, but there's something there. When I started this career, before I even picked up a camera, my friend Dago was like, Waleed, you have to travel. And I made a whole video about it. That's like right here. Went to Ischia Island, Italy, etc. But that whole video was about traveling more. We're going to make the big bucks in 2024. There's two ships in 2024 that are docked. It's either going to be a rocket ship, which is what I want you to get on, and you go up into space and go to a whole new level, or you're going to go inside of a sinking ship. 2024 is like a really weird energy year. This is your year. Please don't waste it. Get ready to spend more on coffee and to comb your hair more often. Don't edit anymore in the corner of your room, looking at like a wall and just staring. That's a huge disservice because that artist yourself that is editing a video, that is editing a photo has to eat anyways, right? The reason why I say this is because I am nosy as hell. When I am somewhere, I'll, I'll like, Ooh, just stretch and look at your monitor. I will. Okay. There are people that walk by. You could see it. You could see them looking at you. And this could be a beautiful thing. So when you're editing and someone's like, are you, wait, are you a video editor? And they're like, oh, this is so cool. What, what app is this? And you're like, no, it's not an app. It's DaVinci Resolve because we don't do Premiere anymore because Adobe, the whole thing. You'll have a conversation. They'll see how sweet you are and they'll see how talented you are and they'll say can I get your information this is how you get clients 
if you were to do this, if you move all of your editing to a cafe, because you still have to drink your coffee, you still have to have food sometimes, right? Go there and work. Somebody knows somebody who needs your service. It has happened to me. In fact, I met my buddy, Jesse Somera. He's, here's Jesse right here. And I was retouching a picture of uh, an old friend of mine, Taylor. And he's like, that's, that's one of my closest friends. And I was like, oh, you know him? He's like, yeah. And I was, he's like, what's your name? I said, Walid. He's like, oh my God, I've heard about you. That's how we became friends. It's gonna change your business. If you do retouch outside the right way, it's about 20% more in income. Number six, I really, really urge you to stop complaining. Stop complaining about nobody wants to pay for video anymore. Nobody wants to pay for photography anymore. Stop it. Aren't you tired of complaining? Stop. There are people who want to pay for this. You choose to believe the lie of losers who didn't accomplish anything or the people that keep wanting you to watch one video, the next video, the next video, the next video, because bad news is contagious. And you're sitting here and you're like, yeah, see, yeah, it doesn't work out for anybody. No, it doesn't work out for other people who don't listen to the people that have already done it. There are no clients that are going to pay you a lot of money if that's what you believe. But there are clients who are going to pay a lot of money if that's what you believe. Video, I'm talking to you. Photo, I'm talking to you. Stop complaining. I'm talking to myself too. Either work towards it. Or, or sell your camera. Stop. You cannot keep complaining in 24 and then not making the changes. This channel is going to teach you all the changes. All right, let's go to the next one. I really, really just had to say that one. I'm going to complain about something, by the way. Those grids, you know when you put one photo and it takes like 9 or 12? Stop it. Nobody likes that experience. You need to be a positive experience. Anyone can push a button, but you are an experience. Stop it. Stop cluttering people's internet. Nobody likes that. Just stop it. No one's going to say, oh, here's a piece of a picture. Oh, here's another piece. I wonder what this puzzle is going to be. And they're going to mute you. Stop it. Nobody appreciates that. Let's go to my next one is stop chasing trends on social media. My God, nobody cares. Nobody cares. So you got 10,000 views, 20, 100,000 views. What if you got 100,000 views, I can just like buy 200,000. And if it's a numbers game, I beat you. But none of us got anything out of it, right? Oh, you know what? But you got like a whole bunch of followers out of it. That's really cool. No, nobody's going to follow you to hire you. If you're doing these trends, they're going to follow you because they like your style, because they want to copy from your style and they want to offer that style to their own clients. God bless them for the inspiration. God bless you for giving the inspiration. But when you use these templates from like CapCut and TikTok and everyone has the same song, the same edit, it just tells the client you're not special. And if you don't do it for dirt cheap, then the person behind you absolutely will because there's 10,000 templates that you can follow and track just by the sounds that will do it if they even reach out at all. Number nine, nobody gives a shit about your logo. And I'm talking to myself too because it is now January 8th today. I took down my website, embarrassingly enough, sometime in early April. I think it was April and I sat on this thing. Well, first I got to figure out this. I don't like that. Let me try this. I don't like that either. Here we are in 2024. Sun is almost wrapped around the sun or the earth like a full circle. And I just, just decided to like redo my website now. Now I'm like, I don't give a damn about no logo. Nobody cares about your logo. We care about you. We care about your artistry, the way you see the world, the way you treat us as clients. I don't give a shit about your logo. Alrighty, number 10. Have you ever heard of vegan talk? they will let you know every opportunity they get. I'm a vegetarian or I'm a vegan. You know, as a vegan, I don't think, you know, as a vegan, I find today very cold. As a vegan today, um, did you know I was a vegan? Yeah, and um, in 2014, I became vegan. Take that energy and talk about your videos and talk about your photography. Someone could be showing you a beautiful oak tree and you're like, that would be... Can I ask where that tree is? Because I need to take some of my clients there. That would be the most amazing photo shoot place. Tell people what you do. 
the bonus one. So somebody just asked me in one of my YouTube comments, can you talk about watermarks and should we put watermarks? Stop it with the watermarks. Done. Watermarks should have never really happened. And there are some watermarks that I've put from years, years past. So um, it's embarrassing when it po pulls up on like Bing or Google or wherever, whatever website. But here's the thing. If somebody wants to steal your image, they're going to do it anyways because they can just crop around it and then generative AI will just fill that in. So you're, they, they stole your picture, right? They want to up res your photo, they can with AI. So they're going to do it anyways. Are you going to limit how you present because of these potential thieves? No, why do that? I say no more watermarks in 2024, especially wedding photographers. For whatever reason, you guys love a good curly cursive curvy little watermark. I hope this video helped you. I hope you're okay with my new attitude. This is literally me as a person, but it's less filtered. This video is going to help you out a lot. This video will help you out a lot. And this right here is where you subscribe. Let's do it. Let's make some money. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and this is my work right here. All right, let's go.